Hello everyone and welcome to my channel. My name is Heather Spears and firstly I just wanted to thank you guys all for being here. I really really appreciate your support so thank you so much for taking the time to be here with me today. And um, so we have something super exciting planned and it was I was browsing social media and I came across this hashtag that is a DIY prom challenge and it was just kind of one of those fun fun things that are I'm using to kind of keep myself busy because as I am filming this, we are currently battling the COVID-19 pandemic. And, you know, I know it's been very hard on people, so this is kind of one of those busy projects to kind of, you know, keep me occupied while I'm, while I'm here at home. But I know um, the pandemic has made it to where a lot of special events, a lot of occasions that we may have been looking forward to have been canceled. So I'm kind of using this... Um, this video and kind of this gown as a support system in a way. So being that there's been so much going on in each and every one of our lives, I thought that it would be nice to make a special event gown and uh, give that gown to somebody who may have had one of those events canceled or may not be able to get a hold of you know, a fancy dress for a special occasion. So whether that be prom or something else, I'm going to talk about that a little bit later, but I just want to let you know that this was a project that I did right here from supplies in my own home to keep myself busy. And I want to extend that forward so that somebody else might be able to dress up and have a little fun um, despite, you know, the situation that we're in. So Without further ado, the rest of this video is going to be pretty much a showcase of this look, what it looks like on and and all that, and then talking about the details and all the special little pieces of it. And then at the end, I will give you guys all the information you need on how you might be able to actually win this, uh, this gown. So without further ado, give me a thumbs up if you're excited and let's get started. <laughs> So that is the showcase to look at the gown that I made and I just want to go talk about um, inspiration. So I got the main inspiration from this from Christian Siriano and when I was browsing Instagram, you know, it's fair to say he is the one that introduced me to even knowing what the challenge was in the first place. So he had made this post um, to all of his followers that you know, there's this DIY prom challenge that, you know, Instagram's putting together. And I thought, you know, that's a super fun way to keep to keep busy. I mean, if you follow me or if you know, I had just really, I literally just got off of doing the Met Gala challenge that was presented by, you know, Vogue and Billy Porter. And I am super, super excited to say that I was featured on Vogue for that. But that's besides the point. That was something that I did to keep busy. And then this kind of rolled along right along with it. And once Kristen Siriano, he posted it and I watched the stories and kind of got started to understand what the challenge was, I knew I wanted to get involved. Now the challenge kind of officially seems more like a recreation challenge, kind of like the Met Gala challenge was. It's um, basing a look inspired by something you've seen on a red carpet, something that you love, and making that kind of prom in, in a way. So, you know, using things from your own home, you make your own um, DIY prom dress and I thought that sounded like so much fun and I mean I did veer off a little bit. I'm known to veer off especially in a fashion challenge. I like to put my own take, I like to put my own spin on things. So I did veer off from that but at the base I did have you know inspiration from looks. Now the looks that I had inspiration from are actually Christian Shiriano's looks. So that is where my inspiration came from but it wasn't just one particular look. It was um, like kind of like the body of work. 
I had gone, I had been browsing my feed and seen daily, he was posting these really, really beautiful paintings of, you know, a lot of his, a lot of his past work. But what I noticed is these paintings, these new ones that were coming out, had these just beautifully um, designed uh, face masks that matched, matched these elaborate gowns. And that's where I really found the most inspiration is these face masks that he was painting on there. I thought, you know, it looked beautiful and it complemented the outfit and it was, it was almost more of a fashion statement, which is oddly in a way kind of comforting to see um, face masks, something that's so new to so many people being used in such a beautiful way to, to complement, you know, these, these elaborate pieces. So that's where the inspiration came from. I wanted to um, take that and, and kind of run with it in my own direction. So I made the mask to match the gown and that's really where the inspiration um, sticks in. That's where, that's where it ties into to being inspired by Christian Siriano's work and these beautiful paintings that were coming out. So I did make that, that mask to go with it. It's not featured in all of my photos, it's not featured in all my videos, but it is there and it is present to show that that is where the inspiration came from. Okay, so the bottom of this dress is made of layers upon layers upon layers of tulle. And um, so I have this beautiful, very, very, very sheer tulle fabric. And I mean, if you've worked with tulle before, you know that it's sheer. And it didn't, this one that I had, it didn't have very much structure to it. So it was very kind of fluid, if that makes sense at all. And basically, um, the bottom layer of this dress is actually white. So the dress itself is white. The only way I was able to add color is layering the tulle over over the top of more tulle. So let me put it this way. The dress is made up of, let's say the bottom of the dress, just envision the bottom of the dress here, and is actually made up of nine different layers of tulle. And on each of those layers, each of those nine layers, we have um, different widths. So the bottom layer is the shortest, and then the top layer is the longest, and it gets, you know, gradually, gradually more from there. But each layer has 18 yards of tool <laughs> so that's a lot you know and all of this tool it's all hand gathered so i um gathered all the tool by hand and sewed it over and over again so that was definitely definitely the longest part but there's this element of fun and it's what excites me the most with um, making things is when you start to see it come together so you get that first layer on and you think oh no it doesn't look you know how i want it to look then you get the second layer and you see this this whole vision kind of come together in this like really beautiful way and you know okay this is this is this is what i wanted it to look like okay you know this is getting there and it gets so exciting by the end and that's how, that's how I start to feel proud is when I start to see it shape up on the mannequin like that. And with the tool, it's always this bittersweet thing of it takes a lot of work and it takes a lot of time, but the end product is just breathtaking. And I, I enjoyed making this a lot. When I created this look, I think it is so important that the person wearing it feels beautiful. Now, with all of my designs, particularly with gowns, I really like um, to keep an elegance and to keep a class to, to each of the things. Now, this look, it was made with a very delicate lace on top and I did a very low, you know, neckline. So with that, I offset it with these, you know, broader shoulders to add a little coverage to maintain, you know, my, my traditional um, intentions. So that's why, you know, the top is kind of formed the way that it is. Now, I want the person wearing it to feel beautiful, to feel classy, to feel sophisticated and elegant and all those really positive feelings. And I think the end result of that is actually uh, feeling sexy. And that's kind of where it comes from. For me, that is always more of a feeling than an actual look or style. So it is always my goal to get there. But I want to do so in a way that um, shows confidence and it shows, you know, that the person who's wearing it does feel beautiful because that to me, that is where the reward comes in. Okay, so I know a lot of you are probably wondering, and yes, I did make my own prom dress back in the day. <laughs> Now, it's kind of a funny, it's kind of a funny situation here. 
I made my own prom dress and it took me about a month to make and surprisingly enough I used tool for this and I had this idea. I had this like glorious idea in my head about what I was going to make and what it was going to look like. And as I worked on it as a, you know, a young person, I'm working on it and I am putting my heart and soul into this. It wasn't coming out the way that I had in my head, but I didn't have like, I didn't have the ability or I didn't have the maturity I needed to like go back and correct what I was doing. So I was just like cutting it and doing it and just moving forward, even though I probably should have taken a step back. I should have taken a little more time. I should have, you know, there's like so many I should have that I could put in there with it. And the end result, I liked it. It was not what I intended to do at all. It is not what I, um, what I really dreamed of wearing to my prom. So when I designed this look, it was more along the lines of what I intended to do back when I made my prom dress. Now I've grown a lot since then. Like I said, I've grown in maturity. I've grown in, um, in skill. I've grown a lot since I made my prom dress. So this is like kind of like a growth thing, kind of like, okay, so I'm going to elevate myself up and show like I can do a prom dress, <laughs> but uh, kind of like a personal thing, I guess. Um, but yeah, so this is more along the lines of what I intended to do back then, even though it didn't come out that way. <laughs> So I just kind of thought I'll put together this prom dress and when I'm done with it, I will extend that forward to, you know, somebody else who who can get some enjoyment out of it. Because I mean, I don't have a prom coming up. I don't have a special event coming up. So I thought, let's make that let's make that original intention and, and move forward and, and put that into somebody else's life. Okay, so as I said before, I made this gown entirely using supplies, you know, right here from my home, following social distancing orders um, from the COVID-19 pandemic. And I know that pandemic has hit a lot of families very hard, a lot of people, and anybody going through any of those event cancellations or has somebody, you know, that has somewhere to wear this to, um, I'd be honored if, if you wanted to wear, to wear this dress for, for any reason. So with that being said, I am giving it away. I am giving it away to somebody who um, follows me on my social media accounts and leaves a comment, even right here on this YouTube video. If you leave a comment telling me um, where are you gonna wear this to or where you would um, ideally wear it to and you know why you want to win this gown, leave that in a comment and you'll be entered. So the way I'm gonna do this is you can enter on all social media platforms and each social media platform is gonna be a different entry. So you can enter on Instagram, you can enter on Twitter, you can enter you know, right here on YouTube, however you prefer to do it. And um, yeah, so just enter to win in a comment, tell me why you want to wear this or where you want to wear this or kind of what plans you have for the gown and it might be yours. So I just thought that would be a nice way to kind of put it forward and Get this into the hands of somebody that um, has one of those special occasions to, to wear it to and hopefully that might be you okay you guys so that is it and i just want to take the time to say you know thanks for coming out and spending the time with me i always 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 appreciate it and you know showing your support on things that i make like this gown and things like that i always appreciate it and always you know it helps drive me forward to make more content so thank you from the bottom of my heart now, if you enjoyed this video, please give me a thumbs up so that I know. And if you want to see more, hit that subscribe button and you're always welcome to come back and join me and hang out. So I intend to do um, more giveaway videos kind of like this. So if this one does well, I will do another gown and give that away the same, the same kind of way if it does, you know, if it does well. I will be choosing a winner for this gown on May 29th and ship that out as, as you know, soon as, as soon as I um, choose a winner. And that winner, I'll notify my Instagram followers and my Twitter followers, you know, when a winner has been chosen. And yeah, so definitely intend to do more of this if this one does well. So if you like it, again, thumbs up so that I know to, you know, start, start working on something else and get it out to you guys. So until next time, I really hope to see you around my channel. Bye!